Okay. What sci-fi gizmo is this? What? You know, I like my toys. <laughs> yeah. Tools. 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 And um, I thought I'd share with you the, the latest one that goes on an iPhone. This is the Olympus Air. 16 megapixel. This is the Olympus Air. Correct. This has uh, the uh, 12 to 50 zoom lens on it. Actually, if we... So that's a standard take it Olympus off, right micro four-thirds lens. Correct. That's okay. it right there. That's the camera. How does it attach to your the phone? The iPhones... Uh, well, or Android, apparently. Well, I guess Android. Yeah, There's a tight fit, so basically this is it. Wow. Okay, so you, you put your lens on. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. you open up the back. Right. Oh, and by the way, I've just noticed... Oh yeah, actually... You, you don't so, have to attach it. So you tell me what you want. How, how am I looking on my picture? Point it over at Chris. Cool. And I can take the picture. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so look at that. <laughs> well, am I, do I have it in the picture? I don't know, I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just pressed the uh, ringer. But anyway, let me show you that what's nice, I mean, if, if you like it this way. But the camera just basically is spring-loaded on here, so essentially... You so can it'll do an iPhone 6, it'll do an iPhone 5, it'll do an Android phone. And it doesn't so work cool. off of Bluetooth, it works off of a Wi-Fi. It's so why it sets it's up an ad hoc Wi-Fi. Ad hoc network. Uh, you can do uh, movies with it. Right. Um, HD, not 4K. HD, and uh, RAW files. So it's an Olympus Micro Four Thirds. Right, RAW plus JPEG. RAW plus, well, I have it set for RAW plus JPEG, but you can right. just do RAW. Right. And it stores in the camera on a micro SD card. That is so cool. Now, it's, uh, what, $350? Yeah. So no, wait a second. No, I don't think it's 350 Let me check. I'm online. I'll take pictures of Chris in the meantime. Okay. No, it's $299 at B&H. $299. <laughs> and it'll take any Micro Four Thirds lens from yep. Olympus or Panasonic. Any Micro Four Thirds lens hooks onto it, yes. Wow. So, and it's a Micro Four Thirds sensor. So, you know, if, you're, if you wanted to, I mean, you can just keep on a neck strap yeah. and, uh, or a wrist strap that is provided. So there's other options out there that we've already looked at. Mm -hmm. um, this one is a lot more secure, as you can say. I don't mind shaking this one around. No, that is you know, very walk secure. Around yeah. With it. yeah, 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 yeah. So it's just, uh, I think, really clever. Essentially, they've taken pretty much the innards of you know, what they do well <laughs> yeah, right. and uh, put it in this little thing. There's a nice touch little rubber button on the top here. Right, so that's your shutter release. Shutter release. Or you can touch focus You can touch on focus. the screen. Yep. I think the software is a little jiggly, as you can see. It takes a minute or, or yeah. Well, a because it's so. using Wi-Fi, there's yeah. a bit of a lag, so no complaints about lag. It's inherent. <laughs> what, what this is is another option, you know. And, and we're seeing a lot of these things come along these days. Mm -hmm. There's a you know a couple other ones out there also, uh, where they're taking the capabilities of the iPhone and stretching it with add-ons. Um, so this becomes your screen which is a nice viewfinder. big viewfinder. Correct. And you can save the RAWs onto the micro SD card. Correct. And then go off and load it up into Lightroom or whatever. And your JPEGs then can be transmitted. They can actually transmit to the iPhone and or just yeah. store on a card. But in other words, for social media, if you right. want to put your pictures up on uh, myfavoritedinner.com, uh, <laughs> or myfavoritedessert.com. And when, when you're done, you know, it has a little back flap. Uh, this is actually a two-layer uh, back panel, so you've got one layer, which is your basic uh, uh, hold the camera and turn it on and off, and then this part clicks off and you have access to the SD card. Mm -hmm. There is no external battery, so unfortunately, once you're done the battery, you've got to actually charge it internally, and there's a micro okay. USB uh, charging port for that. Okay, so, and we haven't had it long enough to figure out how long the battery life is. I know. But, okay. But so, you charge the, an internal battery, I guess, through uh, a USB port or something You just like use that. your iPhone charger, charge it from the computer, anything that's right. USB. So, as you can see, it's pretty clear. It's just another clever device. That is And there's a lot clever. of clever devices. What I particularly days. like, though, is the rigidity. This is, yeah, I mean, I could see myself walking streets <clears throat> of New York or Rome, you know, carrying this. I have my phone anyhow. I'm going to maybe you'd be using my phone for, you know, navigation. Mm -hmm. You know, Google Maps or what, or or, or using it for uh, finding restaurants. You know, and now I can take pictures. Well, this is I just love a, it. It's you know, a great way to, for your phone and to be used to capture 16 megapixels. It's another option. Or so HD if, video. So if you are into Olympus or you know Micro Four Thirds and 
you know, want to spend uh, three hundred dollars? Yeah. It's Panasonic lenses. As a matter of fact, Panasonic. Mm -hmm. Now, the one Achilles heel I see here is there's no stabilization. No, nope, but there are some stabilized Panasonic lenses. Uh, I, I suppose so. Yeah, there are. Whether they'll activate because of enough power in here is to be decided. Power's an issue. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So remains to be seen. Anyway, um, pretty cool. Cool. Love it. Yep. So just another. Cool. <laughs> Another toy. <laughs> anyway, thanks, and uh, we'll see you on the Loomis Landscape.